All right, guys, I'm going to be talking about rank eight cards today because I have, um, I should have made this video last week, but I didn't because I didn't have the time, but, um, I'm making it now because I have the time. So, um, I'll go over last week's rank eight card first since, um, I already have that on my server. Someone has it on my server. So yeah, um, the, oops, misclick, shining, shining dia priest. This version isn't the max version, but it's still decent. It's got the 18 line on it. Actually, I want to I want to see 15 and 18. Let me see if someone has 15 and 18. Um, in my server, talisman. Yeah, here here one is. Um, shining Gaia priest, 477 attack, so probably like 450 to like 500 base attack. I'm not sure, but that's just an estimate from um me. But uh, crit damage 4%, 11. 18, 24% crit damage, which for from a talisman card, 24% of any stat is a lot, and then um, 2, 6, 9, 12 crit rate. I don't really care for the crit rate, but the crit damage is really nice to me, 24%, um, especially for my talisman card, I think this card is really good, honestly, and a main slot card. I think this will never be an assist card because of you, you lose 11% grid damage. Well, never say never. But I think that this card will most likely remain a main slot card for a very long time. At least until like rank 10, maybe. But yeah, um, I think that if you're a DPS and you and you like have the means to spend, I'd probably go ahead and get this card because I believe in... I believe in if you're going to get any cards in the game, get a talisman or a headwear card. Like... The only shining cards I really wanted were Shining Shadow Sneak and um, the Shining Shadow Knight because they're Talisman Headwear cards, which are usually harder cards to get and have lower stats than um, armor cards. So when you can get like a, a shining card that gives like something like really good like this, I feel like it's just worth getting, honestly. So yeah, that's Shining Dive Priest. Um, definitely one of the cards that I plan to get in the future if I'm lucky. And I think that. Rank 8 cards are definitely ch ch going to change up the game, like, a lot, honestly, because of how, um, they just give you so many stats for, like, just replacing what you already have. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the Shining Mio Farcues, uh, where is it, Mio the Farcues, if you've seen the Shining version of this card, but, um, the Shining version of this card gives, like, mmm... The, the 18 line gives 10% damage X and I think like 6% or more crit rate. I don't remember the crit rate, I just remember the damage X. Wait, not crit rate, I'm sorry. Um, high HP. Uh, but I don't really remember the high HP. I remember the damage X. And then the set effect of Mio FRQs for the 4P set effect is ridiculously broken. It's like 3% attack, I think, 7% debuff damage, and 76 coercion. Off the top of my head, that's what I think it is. Um, I can double double check that. Hopefully, I find the card very quickly. And um, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. So the set effect is um, two 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 P set effect, six percent crit damage, one thirty attack, four P set effect, seven percent debuff, three percent attack, seventy six coercion. So yeah, that card is certified. Honestly, it's a broken card in my opinion for the assist. At least, I don't think that the shining version is worth using main. I think it's an assist at best, and I don't think it's not that good unless you have the four piece set effect. Honestly, in my in my opinion, of course. And the non shining version, I'm not exactly sure if I want to redeem this card or not. I think that it's decent, but it's worse than Black Cat, and it's not that useful for me in my current set. Because I don't have any cards that I can spare for a high HP card, a pure high HP card. So yeah, I don't think that this is that, that good for me. Um, maybe... I don't even think this is good for free to plays that much, depending on what you have. So yeah, maybe you could... I think at best, for free to plays, they could be an assist card as well. The reason I say that is because a lot of you might be lacking um, crit rate for the gate, gate of time. So I think that this card could definitely fill in that for that an assist, but yeah, I think Black Cat is better. Normal Black Cat and Shining Black Cat is better, because that execute damage you get from it. But Mio the Farcuse is definitely good in assist 
for a shining card because of the side effect. But other than that, no, I don't think it's that good. Um, I'm probably not going to get it. I probably wouldn't even go for the shining card, honestly, me personally. Because I don't, if I don't see myself pitying four of them, I don't think it's worth it. And honestly, I think that the rank A cards are kind of busted, but we got to get used to it. Um, hopefully they don't release too many rank A cards that just completely shatter everything. Because I do want to get the Dire Priest, but I don't want to like have to fall behind in armor cards so far. Because like, shining armor cards right now are already pretty good, but the set effects were never that insane. That's insane is 3% attack, 7% debuff, and like 76 coercion. You get all the good DPS stats in one side effect, which is kind of crazy to me. But it's alright. Um, when more rank A cards are released, I'll probably give you guys more updates on them. The other rank, rank A card I didn't go over is the crit damage one, or crit resistance one, I'm sorry. But I don't think I really need to go over that one, because crit resistance, you either stack it or you don't. I don't even think all priests use crit resistance personally because I don't use it. Um, I don't believe in it. But um, you can get it. I mean, it's all right. But I think that current state of the game, if you're not doing PvP, that, that card is not very useful for you. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling on. I'm going to wrap up the video here and I'll see you guys in the next one.